we welcome President Habre to Washington as the leader of a nation that has recently beaten back the violent aggression of an outlaw state. In winning its stunning victories, Chad has acted to preserve its freedom and handed a forceful message to aggressors. That message is, African nations will defend their sovereignty and foreign aggression will be defeated. In our discussion today, President Habre and I reviewed some of the events that led to this aggression. We also discussed the current situation in Chad. The United States has proudly joined France, Zaire, Egypt, and other friends in the effort to provide President Habre's government the means to fight and win. Although the struggle is not over, we believe the victories on the Chadian desert bode well for peace and stability in Africa. Chad's triumph underscores the valor of the Chadian people and makes clear that they and other African peoples will remain free and independent. Chad's accomplishment is admired by the free world and will benefit all of Africa. By shoring up regional stability, Chad has helped its neighbors, who now can focus more of their energy and resources on country-building endeavors. Unfortunately, Chad and neighboring countries must remain vigilant against new threats, but Chad now knows it can count on its friends. For our part, the United States is committed to maintaining an appropriate level of security assistance to Chad. In our meetings, President Habre and I also look to his country's future economic and development needs. Years of warfare have left Chad's economy in ruins. Reconstruction efforts have been set back by a cycle of severe drought, locust plagues, and other problems. For our part, the United States has tried to help to the degree possible in each emergency, yet the challenge remains great. Today, we maintain an innovative, flexible program of development aid and budgetary support for Chad in an effort to move its fundamental economic situation. Today, President Habre emphasized that his government is committed to building a better life for the Chadian people, committed to reconstruction and economic growth. I assured him that we will continue to do our best to work with France and other steadfast partners in the international effort to help reach President Habre's laudatory goals. President Habre and I discussed a number of issues of international and regional concern as well. We noted, for example, that this week marks the anniversary of the terrible riots in the South African township of Soweto. It is our mutual hope that the parties in South Africa will show the courage to work toward a peacefully negotiated end to the scourge of apartheid. Finally, the friendship between Chad and the United States reflects our shared commitment to freedom and international cooperation. President Habre and I are convinced that the relationship between our countries will continue to be strong and productive, one which will serve the interests of both our peoples. It was an honor and a great pleasure to have had him here as our guest. Thank you. Monsieur le Président, je voudrais tout d'abord vous remercier pour les propos fort aimables que vous venez de tenir à mon endroit et à l'égard de mon pays. De même, permettez-moi également de vous remercier très sincèrement pour l'invitation que vous avez bien voulu m'adresser à visiter votre pays et vous dire combien je suis honoré par cet accueil fort chaleureux et l'attention toute particulière dont la délégation qui m'accompagne et moi-même sommes l'objet depuis que nous avons foulé le sol de votre grand pays, les États-Unis d'Amérique, 
pionnier de la lutte pour l'indépendance et champion de la défense de la liberté. À cet égard, Monsieur le Président, même si votre modestie devrait en souffrir, je dirais que par votre action vigoureuse à la tête des États-Unis d'Amérique, vous avez su redonner à ces valeurs de liberté et d'indépendance que sont la liberté de tous les hommes, l'indépendance des nations, toutes leurs lettres de noblesse. Mr. President, may I first of all thank you for your very kind words directed to me and for my country. May I also express my thanks to you very sincerely for the invitation that you extended to me to visit your country and to tell you how honored I am by your very warm welcome and by the very special attentions bestowed upon my delegation and myself since we arrived in your great country, the United States, pioneer in the struggle for independence and champion of the defense of freedom. In this connection, Mr. President, may I say, at the risk of hurting your modesty, that your vigorous action at the head of the United States has enabled you to give new luster to these essential values, the independence of all people, liberty of all nations. Notre visite est aussi l'illustration parfaite des excellentes relations d'amitié, de coopération et de solidarité agissante qu'entretiennent nos deux pays et nos deux peuples. Monsieur le Président, l'appui constant et multiforme des États-Unis d'Amérique a été précieux dans notre lutte légitime pour la défense de notre dignité, de notre indépendance et l'intégrité de notre territoire contre l'expansionnisme et le colonialisme libyen. Our visit is also an excellent illustration of the strong and very good relation of friendship, cooperation, and solidarity that are so active and so interactive between our two countries. Mr. President, the uh, constant and varied assistance and support of the United States has been very valuable to us in our legitimate struggle for the defense of our dignity, of our independence, and of the integrity of our territory against Libyan expansionism and colonialism. C'est le lieu ici d'adresser notre profonde reconnaissance à vous-même, Monsieur le Président Reagan, et au peuple américain tout entier pour cette action de solidarité avec le peuple tchadien injustement agressé et humilié. And this is indeed the place, Mr. President, to express our deep gratitude to yourself, Mr. President, to the American people for your solidarity with the people of Chad who are so unjustly aggressed and humiliated. En effet, grâce notamment à votre engagement ferme et celui d'autres amis du côté de la justice et du bon droit, le peuple tchadien a aujourd'hui libérer la plus grande partie de ces terres espoliées. Mais comme vous l'avez relevé à juste titre, le Tchad qui demeure toujours sous la menace des armes doit poursuivre son, son combat pour mettre fin définitivement aux empiétements sur sa liberté et vivre l'ère de la paix. It is indeed uh, thanks to your firm commitment and that of our other friends on the side of justice and law, it is indeed because of that that the Chadian people has today recovered the greatest part of the territories that had been taken away. As you yourself have stressed so aptly, Mr. President, Chad remains under threat and must pursue its fight in order to put an end once and for all to encroachments upon our freedom and in order to live in peace. Aussi, je retiens avec satisfaction de mes entretiens avec le président Reagan, la volonté réaffirmée des États-Unis d'Amérique 
a aidé le Tchad à parachever l'œuvre de libération nationale et à s'atteler durablement à la bataille du développement économique et social en vue du bien-être de son peuple. I know therefore uh, with great gratification after my discussion with President Reagan the uh, reaffirmed the determination of the United States to help Chad complete uh, the national liberation task and tackle in a lasting manner the battle for the economic and social development of our nation to foster the welfare of our people. Monsieur le Président, le Chad comme les États-Unis chérit au plus haut point la paix, la liberté, la justice et, le, et la protection des droits de l'homme et des peuples et croit fermement à la coexistence entre les nations et entre les peuples. Car le Tchad, qui a souffert et souffre encore dans sa chair et dans son âme de l'absence de paix, et de la violation de ses droits, se sent solidaire de tous ceux qui, victimes de l'oppression et du racisme, livrent un combat libérateur. Et nous savons que le rôle du président Reagan, le rôle des États-Unis d'Amérique est déterminant dans le processus devant préserver l'humanité de la grande tourmente qui la menace. Mr. President, we in Chad, as you in the United States, cherish to the highest degree peace, freedom, justice, protection of human rights, and we firmly believe in coexistence among nations and peoples. Because Chad has suffered and continues to suffer in body and soul from the lack of peace and the violation of these rights, we feel great solidarity with all those who are victims of oppression and racism wage their own liberating struggle. And we know what an important and determining role you, President Reagan, and your country play in this entire process so that mankind will be immune from the major uh, threat against it. C'est pourquoi il est reconfortant de relever que les relations entre les États-Unis et le Tchad sont des plus excellentes et que nous sommes résolus à œuvrer ensemble pour leur donner une impulsion nouvelle par une coopération encore plus renforcée en vue de contribuer à l'avènement d'un monde plus juste et plus solidaire. Je vous remercie. That is why we are greatly comforted to know that relations between United States and Chad are of the most excellent character and that we are determined to work together to give them new impetus in strengthening our cooperation so that we may help bring about a world with greater justice and solidarity. Thank you.
about the opposition in Korea? Did President Chun talk with them? Partner! Why aren't you being 